Hello and welcome back to my channel Iraqi Dinar Digest where I share the news about Iraqi Dinar and Vietnamese Dong, so let's dive into today update, news hound guru Pimpi highlighted an article stating that the Credit Bank of Iraq has achieved a profit of 20.4 billion dinars, which is promising news for those invested in the Iraqi stock exchange. He expressed optimism that bank stocks will continue to rise, possibly becoming some of the fastest growing stocks in Iraq. This growth is driven by ongoing banking reforms and expansions, which are expected to increase the value of these stocks over time. Starting with Intel Guru Marks via PDK, there's exciting news that Iraq is set to build the longest submerged tunnel in the Middle East. This tunnel will significantly boost trade routes, positioning Iraq as a central hub in the region. The new infrastructure will allow the country to greatly increase its oil exports, enhancing its economic influence and development. Next, Intel guru Frank26 shared an update from the ground in Iraq, through Mr. Saimi, an Iraqi bank manager. One of the key discussions in Iraq is about the flotation of the Iraqi dinar and stopping currency auctions, both seen as important steps to help end the black market. Frank elaborated, explaining that the currency auctions, which previously controlled exchange rates, are being phased out. This leaves only one path forward or a move toward an international currency float. Once the dinar floats internationally, its value is expected to rise as it becomes more widely used in global trade. The buying, selling, and trading of the dinar will naturally add value as it enters the float. Newshound Guru Militia Man highlighted that, as of October 2024, Iraq still has not exposed the investment side of the 2024 budget, despite ongoing discussions about the 2025 budget. The adjusted amendments to the 2024 budget have yet to be published in the Gazette. However, it's hoped that these amendments will be revealed soon, providing clarity on Iraq's financial and economic strategies moving forward. In another update, newshound guru Samson shared an article discussing how Iraq's population census guarantees a fair distribution of wealth and proper parliamentary representation for its governorates. This census is seen as essential for ensuring that all regions of Iraq receive their fair share of resources and political influence. Additionally, Guru Samson highlighted China's growing dominance in the Iraqi market. According to the Chinese Customs Authority, China's exports to Iraq are projected to exceed $65 billion in 2024. This development underscores China's expanding economic influence in the region, as it continues to strengthen trade ties with Iraq. Intel Group Rank 26 brought attention to some key legislative developments in Iraq. The head of the Finance Committee, Atwan Al Atwani, recently reviewed several important draft laws with a delegation from the Adam Smith International Foundation. These laws include the Securities and Commodities Law the Banking Studies Center Law, and the Islamic Sukuk Investment Law, all of which are expected to be read in upcoming parliamentary sessions. Al-Atwani also discussed the most significant challenges facing Iraq's financial system, as well as the steps being taken to diversify the country's income sources. The Finance Committee is working to reduce Iraq's dependence on oil revenues and instead focus on maximizing non-oil income streams. This effort includes amending the law of the General Authority for monitoring the allocation of federal revenues, which is key to ensuring better management of Iraq's public finances. Newshound Guru Claire shared an article in which Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani announced that the value of available investment opportunities in Iraq has surpassed $100 billion. He also highlighted the growing economic cooperation between Iraq and Egypt which is expected to further enhance Iraq's investment landscape. Stay tuned for more updates as we continue to monitor these exciting developments in Iraq and the global economy.